I am a licensed bounty hunter. Meaning, if you jump bounty, your is 65000 or above. I work with the marshals. I'm going to come kick your front door in. It's not going to bother you at all. So this chick I'm dating, she decides to tell me, I am never going to submit to you. I am never going to be loyal to you. All my loyalty is going to go to Outcast Motorcycle Club and two of my exes in this club. She decides at 2 o'clock in the morning while I'm at work, she wants to be on FaceTime with one of them. I can break into a phone without the phone. All I need is a cell phone number. And I'm going to get in your phone in 15 minutes. And I'm going to have all of your text messages from two years within four hours. Tomo, bounty hunters could do that? I don't even know what's the qualifications to be a bounty hunter, but like, they can hack my phone? This is what I did. She is now under a federal RICO indictment charge. Me, whoa, Outcast Motorcycle Club is now under a federal RICO indictment charge because she wanted to play with me and wanted to be on fucking live with these mother. The n that she cheated with that were married. I took all their text messages from two years and I sent them to the guy's wife. Both of the guys that she cheated with, Outcast, oh they're my God. in a divorce. And 32 members of Outcast Motorcycle Club are under federal RICO indictment charge. When I get my lick back, I do it legally and I make sure you go to prison for a long time. First off, no homo, but if looking at this man, you shouldn't be giving him no pussy because you know, you know some consequences and repercussions come with that. That's one. Two, this man is the final boss of Petty. So his ex-girl is under a federal indictment. All the dudes that was clapping her cheeks is under federal indictment. And then on top of that, as if sending their ass to jail wasn't enough, he sent the messages to their wives. Hold on, but the fact that he's on camera admitting this, right? Wouldn't the case get thrown out because he did obtain the evidence illegally? Hmm. And then when I come on here and I tell y'all that I think white folks are fearless, y'all be laughing at me. He just smacked the line with slippers, then proceeded to scold him. Y'all think I'll be playing when I say white folks is fearless. Evidence. This is even more evidence. There's not a lot of conversation about the disadvantages of being attractive. One, as a woman, you will have a hard ass time making friends. I've met people who gravitate towards me because I'm attractive because they think in proximity they will get some of my privileges. I've had friends that cut me off out of the blue for literally no reason. I have friends that have told me to humble myself. It's gonna be hard to date. I've met men who just want to be with me to be a trophy. I've had boyfriends who have not been able to deal with the amount of attention I get and therefore take it out on me. I've been stalked. I've been followed home. I've been stalked by ex-boyfriends. I've been groped. I've been graped. I've been assaulted. I've been through a lot because I'm attracted. It's not for the weak. And when people talk about pretty privilege, yes, I will get a free meal. I will get free entry. I will get preferential treatment. A lot of times I don't have to pay for stuff. That's great. But I wouldn't say it's comparable to the amount of detriments being attractive has put me in. Lord knows I'm very grateful that my mother picked an attractive sperm donor that gave me this face. But it has definitely made life a bit more challenging. When you are an attractive person, especially an attractive woman, you will need to walk around and protect yourself physically, mentally, everyly from everyone because they will be attracted to you. They will be coming for different reasons and you're going to have to be able to keep them away. As a woman who's attractive, you need to learn how to defend yourself. I'm in the gym five times a week getting strong as fuck in case somebody walks up on me they don't get f you need to learn how to read people you need to pay attention to your surroundings you need to not get gas late at night you need to be on your p's and q's and you need to be extremely intelligent i once had someone pretend to be a business sent me an email saying that they would fly me and my brand i have a swimsuit line 
to another country to do a photo shoot. Everything seemed extremely legitimate. They even sent photos of other women that will be attending the event. They f***ed up because one of the women in the photos is someone I know. I messaged them. They had no idea what I was talking about. This pervert was trying to lure me out to another country to do God knows what with me. This is what you get for being attractive. I can't say I share her sentiment because I don't know. But I would say that I've had conversations with my wife and she has expressed how hard it is to be a woman. And she was saying how, you know, the fact that she can't be 100% herself, somebody might take it as an opening. Somebody might read it the wrong way. But that is kind of crazy. The fact that they were trying to fly her out, you know what? Hold on, gangsta. How about, how about we go to her page? Hold on, guys. I'm going to find her. <laughs> I'm going to find her. All right. <clears throat> we found her Instagram page. So, let's, guys, let's, let's see what's going on here. Because, you know, she might be calling, she, it might be Cat. Oh. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, well, the verdict is out. I, I, what do you guys think? It don't matter what I think. What do you guys think? My husband and I have removed the bottoms of all of our shoes. We decided to start walking barefoot and one of our followers had a great idea. Since some businesses don't want us being completely barefoot, if we cut off the bottom of our shoes, it allow us to be barefoot but blend in with everyone else. This is a huge commitment, but we were willing to make it. These are our favorite shoes. Our shoe collection is worth more than $20,000, but this is a sacrifice we're willing to take because walking barefoot means the world to us. The benefits of walking barefoot are priceless, so now our shoes are worth more than money could ever be. So today we got to work and started removing the bottoms. We weren't sure if this was going to be easy or hard and it ended up being pretty easy. We made little shelves where our toes are and our heels are. We made a little lip on the bottom of the shoe where our toenails will go so they can latch on so we'll actually be able to hold on to the shoe while trying. Hey, y'all better be walking on grass. Y'all better be walking on grass because if y'all went through all that BS to walk on some concrete, to walk without the bottom and we did the same thing for our heels the experience of cutting off the bottoms of our shoes was very freeing and detoxifying just like walking barefoot is so after we cut the bottoms off we decided to try it out so we went to our favorite store sephora and as you know they don't really like us in here without shoes i needed to grab a few things for a trip we're going on the experience was absolutely perfect the workers came up to us they talked to us they even complimented our it was dirty i was crying use it second what what happened the toilet upstairs was dirty. I was trying to use it, and then it got very messy. It got, it got almost, it got that ground thing with it inside the water of the toilet. You said the toilet upstairs is dirty? I want to show you. I want to show you it. But is it dirty because of you, or what happened? Does the is the water just come brown again? Is that what you're saying? Mm -hmm. It went in. It come in the wall. It, it was it was orange and. and what? Well, stop stuttering and speak straight. What happened? It was orange and then it was white. You see, can I flush it? Did you flush it? And what happened? And then it. And it got brown still. Now I gotta explain to these people why my toilet water was brown. Alright, I'm gonna come look at it just now. Yeah, 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 yeah. Before y'all start saying, oh, y'all dirty, y'all living like bums over there. Um, the day before yesterday, the water just went out all throughout the house. The only water that was on was the one downstairs, which was crazy. And then once we started everything back up and we started running the water, it was just brown. All over. The faucet in the sink was brown. The faucet in the two bathrooms upstairs was brown. The faucet in the bathroom downstairs was brown. And even the shower water was brown. You flush the toilet, the water was brown also. So we had to keep all the water running for damn near the whole day until like the water started being clear. And I'm, I'm going to be honest with you, bro. This is one reason why I've, I haven't drank tap water in... 
Actually, no, I drank tap water the other day, but it wasn't, it was at the gym. But I tried not to drink tap water. I haven't drank tap water before that for probably four or five years. I just drink bottled water. So that's what's going on. It, it ain't no dirtiness going on over here, okay? <sighs> Finish watching this damn video. Or shoes. I definitely recommend this if you're trying to go incognito barefoot. It's the perfect way to get all the benefits of going barefoot, but also have no one know. I'm not gonna lie, I am guilty of walking bare feet outside in the grass. There's something my wife put me on to because my wife is a tree hugger. It does something to you. It, it is, I'm not gonna lie. But if you're just doing this to walk on the concrete, you're not getting no benefits. And another thing, another thing, I hope this is genuine and not some social media shit because some people like me, I used to have to go to school like that when I lived in Grenada when. I had a hole in my shoe and my feet was touching the concrete. Sometimes it was too hot on the damn pavement. I had to run out into the bushes. Imagine you got a hole in your shoes, the concrete, the road too hot to walk on. So you got to walk in the bushes to get to school. I'm telling y'all, y'all don't know how, how, how nice y'all have it in America. Even my son complaining about the, the toilet. <laughs> I used to have to take a doodle in a, a latrine. Y'all know what a latrine is? Y'all call it an outhouse out here, but we used to call it a, a latrine. Imagine at five years old, you need to take a doodle at uh, three in the morning. It's pitch black outside, and the latrine is half a block away. Yeah. Motherfuckers be talking about they, they from the trenches. They grew up in the, the trenches, my ass. I'm coming in there. Well, I'm coming in here. I'm coming in here. Knife, slice, slice. I'll give it to you. Okay. So I'm here. Okay. You just here. Cutting here. Slice. Turn in the hand over. Slice. Just already cut. Slice. Give it to him. Give it to him. Hey, hold on. Hey, gang. Hey, gangster. This. Hey, gangster. Hey, gangster. Hey, gangster. If me and you get in a fight and you slice my nuts open, it's a problem. It's a problem. And you damn, you a prison martial artist, so ain't shit I could do about it. I'm snitching. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and drop a dime on you. I'm going to drop a dime on you. I'm sorry. He, he in prison. Son, fuck. It looks like Stand away. The attack is here. Cut. 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 Go here. Okay. So this is with full speed on it. Oh shit. Ah. That's still all the good though. It's okay. Oh, yeah, yes, sir. This hand shattered. It's hard for me to hold anything. You work away injury. Here we go. Well seven. This about to sound crazy, but just imagine you in prison and goddamn uh, Master Dwayne, he look like a Dwayne, Master Dwayne come and tell you he want them goddamn cheeks. What you doing? Hmm? He in prison practicing ninjutsu. What you doing? 